My girlfriend and I did a road trip to Ainsley. I brought her to the hotel, Ainsley Hotel, and Cliff was sitting at the bar, this quiet man sitting at the bar, and we got chatting, and yeah, it just went from there. I was 51. He would have been 59. Oh, he's a real bushy. Was not looking, was not interested. So you just never know what's around the corner. We courted for four years. Yep. And then I moved to Ainsley. If anything's happening in the town, we all meet the hotel's the hub because we have no shops here, just a hotel. Sometimes we have hat parties. Well, a lot, quite a bit we have hat parties and we all wear different hats and it's always a fun night. I can remember going to a birthday party. Yeah, we just all had hats on and we changed them during the night as well, you know, and... Yeah, it's all good fun. We make our own fun. And if you forget to take your money home, you can go back two days later or whenever you go back down and your money's still there. There's a lot of honesty and trust in Ainsley. Because we're so far away from uh, doctors and hospitals, Atherton's four hours and Cairns five hours and a bit, it's a flying doctor. It's really important because you do get a lot of accidents on farms. Not only are the doctors and the nurses important, but the, so is the pilots. And they're all just lovely people, just beautiful, yeah. We can't live without them in these areas. And so uh, we do what we do. Deb and Fran are a really important part of this clinic. Um, they make sure the clinic's all set up, ready to go, they come and meet us, they pick us up and take us to the clinic. Uh, it's fantastic because we can get there, we can have a cup of tea, Deb makes the best scones in the area, they're fantastic. And you know, while the patients are waiting to be seen by the doctor, they can have a cup of tea and a scone or a sandwich. A lot of the people that come to see the flying doctor, they, they travel for, you know, some two hours just to get here and, and I feel that it's nice that when they arrive they have a nice cup of tea or coffee and have a sandwich and a piece of cake. And then you sit down and you have a cuppa together and you find out what people have been doing and how things are going on the stations and yeah, it's a good get together. <laughs>